it's such a beautiful Sunday afternoon, this first Sunday in September. I just feel like reciting some poems, and some of which I recited them before, but you know, one never knows how each reading plays out, and um, some are good, some are bad, some are happy, some are sad, you know, but you just keep doing it. And I'm not sure what's going on with the light and everything like that. I'm just, I'm just having fun on a Sunday afternoon. The Blue Bitch. As day's fire dies into night, I look upon an image of my old ride. Wide were her glides, 18 over with a wee bit of rake in her neck. What the heck, she was an outlaw, like myself at that sweet time. Prussian blue metal flake paint, 21 inch front tire, no front brake, buckhorn bars and chrome. I chose to roam some green fire back roads, often eluding pursuit or capture by road cops. There was no soft in her hard tail, her vibrations made surely come often. Some there are would say, I was crazy to let go of that truly fine 49. I know it was a tough call, yet the muse sang sweet songs to my wild heart. To part with the blue bitch was the cost of my first art studio gallery with new roads to wander. Tonight I ponder those good old days as I look for ways to make a new name for myself. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And... This is an ekphrastic poem, which is a poem that is basically describing a work of art or a painting. Anyway, just how that goes. Queen of Wands, her warm color rush with cold imperial eye arrests my soul as surely as arrows dart to my heart. April, I can say, has no sway, may not compare to this exquisite enchantress, no possible way. Sweet are points thrust into memory's sugar bowl of times divine. Fine is this feeling as closer she rides. Closer she rides. Hey, that is interesting. Avian assassin, what with all the birds cavorting about. And these aren't birds, this bleep, bleep, that, those are Katie did, or cicadas or something. Uh, they get going every now and then. <laughs> I don't know what gets them started and what makes them stop. They're funny. Anyway, there's a lot of uh, hummingbirds. They're gathering. This is September and uh, their activity has increased around my feeder. This is probably preparation for their departure, their uh, migration southward, which is um, when it happens, a true harbinger of the coming of fall or cooler weather. And believe me, that will be welcome to many out here in Texas. Avian Assassin At high noon of a daring blue Colorado high country day, he walked out of the service building with the Ruger single shot six in a holster strapped on his hip. Armed and dangerous to lower life forms in the guise of thieves, those who would steal the golden nuggets from the silver bowls in the dog runs, beware. There, in a flash of profound ignorance, he shot the stellar jay. Instant remorse flooded his heart, tears flooded his eyes. Holding the brilliant blue bird with black crested head, he felt dread spreading as he knew he had committed a sacrilege. Years later, he would hip shoot a raven, pierced through the heart with a single pellet from a 12-gauge shotgun pattern. The magnificent iridescent black bird would be the last avian assassination he would undertake. He saved the skull to remind him. He ate the heart, mounted the great sable wings on a helmet for his soul to fly to the gates of hell. Yes. And on that note, 